what I'm talking about here is not having straightforward conversations because we're focused on face saving rather than problem solving in many organizations and many teams and many departments we are so focused on a happy culture and getting along and everybody's value and everybody's contribution being welcomed that we had rather sit there with our mouth shut than speak up and say, I disagree, that's not going to work. And we do it, like I said, with the best of intentions. Now, for social niceties, that works fine. If I say to you, how do you like this suit? Are you going to say, actually, it looks really cheap and you look really fat. Where'd you get that, Goodwill? I mean, you're not going to say that to me, right? And that makes it pleasant for us to get along socially. But if you do that continually in your workplace because you're afraid of people being defensive and not letting you voice objections, then you work at the lowest common denominator rather than having effective communication that follows. Ray, a friend of mine, CEO was talking about his background. He has a PhD in psychology. And he was saying he always prided himself on not hurting people's feelings, getting them to be creative and throwing out creative ideas without squashing people's feelings and damaging relationships. And he said he was called up short in a conversation he had because somebody uh, was not performing up to standards in corporate headquarters. And they had asked him to talk to her and tell her about a lateral move they were going to transfer her from corporate out into the boondocks and a lateral move out to a plant. And when he got through with the conversation, she looked up to him and said, so what kind of raise am I getting for this move? He said, that's when I realized that I was not giving straight talk. <laughs>